Hey everybody, it's Charge from Vegas Virality, and I'm actually gonna be doing a big character pull here tonight, trying to get my hands on this brand new Herschel. He is an ascendable five-star character. I really want this six-star Herschel. He will be perfect for my team. Um, he's pretty fast. He does 250% damage to up to three enemies. He reduces their attack also, but the big things for him is that he increases attack for my team members by 50%, and he would give 50 uh, critical for two turns to all my players. He's got Guardian 2 just like my... Um, just like my Zeke does, so he'd be a great addition to my team. Looking at my team real quick, you see that I already have four six-star characters on the team. Um, my defense team right now, I don't have Yumiko on here because she's in the middle of a, a scavenger camp mission for experience. We're in the middle of a level-up tournament, but uh, I did want to show this off because I'm very excited about it. Uh, I finally got absolute defense for one of my weapons, so um, I'm, I've been talking about this for a while. In order to be a really, really top player in this game, you have to have the weapons for it. This is the first step in that direction. Absolute defense is one of the most pesky defensive weapons that you can find. Um, that paired with this, uh, sorry, with the Zeke um, plus 30 critical, I'm gonna try to boost his critical even more. And um, that way, he, not only does he have a shield always, poten well, always potentially, um, but he can put up those uh, guardian shields. So that's another reason why I really, really want to pick up this um, Herschel so that I will end up with another guy who can um, protect me. I went ahead and bought the coins. I don't buy a lot of coins often in this game, but I just couldn't really pass it up. So I'm going to open up the entire 40 pack here. I'm going to do it all at once, and we're just going to see what we get. Um, I'm hoping that it's not a huge, colossal letdown. Um, I know that the game came out with an update and they said that when you do these kinds of pulls you're a guaranteed a five star every 30 or something. I've never really tested that out, but I have never gotten a five star character um, without paying like big money like this. The last one I got, uh, this was months ago and it was the last time I spent big money on the game was I bought coins to get a Shiva, the armored Shiva, which I did get. So I'm hoping that I can get lucky here and get this Herschel. All right, so let's do it. Here we go. Open up 40. <clears throat> All right. So number one, we got a three star. I'm assuming I'm going to get a lot of three stars here, and that's just to be expected. Um, so nothing but three stars. Finally got a four star here. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot of four stars so I can do an ascension, if nothing else. If I can get about eight or nine uh, four star characters out of this, that wouldn't be the end of the world either. Um, ready to do a few more of those ascensions. All right, so, so far, pretty much nothing. Garbage all the way across. Um, I'm hoping that I can get at least one five-star character out of this. Uh, again, it's $100 being spent. It's not um, anything to take lightly. That Cat Joe right there, she is a human shield, and now that I have my absolute defense weapon, uh, I just got a Lester, Epic Lester. I'm hoping that's not all I get. I'm hoping that I can still get this Herschel. Um, I don't really know how this is going to work though, because there are 40, some more ultra rare characters. Uh, if nothing else, I at least did get a 5 star, so that's not horrible, but I'm hoping for a little, uh, something a little bit better. Alright, another 4 star, should have enough to do an ascension. I'm going to do an ascension in this video, um, if nothing else. Got another uh, ultra rare, so I'm pretty sure I have enough now to do another ascension for a four to five star give that a shot here still not getting any of the er, the epic that i really want which was that ascendable herschel um so we are not it's, it's not looking too good because they gave me that epic lester my assumption is they're not going to give me another epic character i don't really know how this works um i'm hoping that i can still get him i think it'd be really cool uh, if i get another epic in general and that's it so uh, we did get one epic it was the Lester here let's find him Keep scrolling so we did get an epic um, so Lester he's not let's see I think I've had this guy before I'm not even sure yeah I think I've had him um, he could be useful for my team with the 60% attack 60% defense for one turn he's pretty fast doing it um, he's got experienced attack, which is, you know, it's not bad. 
Um, but yeah, this was definitely not what I was really hoping for. I did get some five star token uh, crates here, and I got enough to do another epic pull. I do have enough to do one more pull on here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Who knows? Maybe I'll get Herschel. <laughs> no, of course not. Got another three star character. So uh, basically, it was $100 for nothing. Um, I mean, I did get a few cans here, some more five star tokens. Um, but yeah, it, it was definitely not worth it. This is one of the reasons why I'm not big on buying big coins here and going after stuff because usually you don't get what you want. So uh, that's just kind of like a life lesson for me to not really mess with that kind of stuff. I did uh, somehow squeeze out enough to get another five star recruit here. I'm hoping I can get somebody cool. They have some ascendable characters in here as well. Uh, getting one of the Negans, Shiva. Carl, any of these guys. I wouldn't even mind getting another Tyrese. So let's see. And we got Negan, the Kirkman series. This is actually pretty cool. This guy is ascendable. So not all is lost here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this ascendable Negan. He will most likely be my next character. So he's got evasion. He's pretty he's pretty cool actually. Um, so he does 325% damage, minus 6% attack for two turns to a line of enemies, and everybody will get 60% defense for a couple of turns. So that part is pretty cool. Uh, he does do taunt, and he does evasion, so let's check out evasion here. Whenever this character takes damage from an attack or rush, they will reduce the amount based on their current AP. So he can reduce the damage based on how high his AP is. So if I don't use his adrenaline rush and I just kind of like let it stick, um, that could be pretty useful. Uh, he does have taunt. Uh, again, the active skill is not really my thing, but hey, it's another ascendable five-star character, which is pretty cool. The Lester wasn't um, amazing, but I still have one more thing to do. I've got a new epic pull here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm hoping for another Benedict. Yeah, I got a lot of these already, the knife sheets. I'm not I'm not complaining because uh, I'm going to hopefully end up using them pretty soon. But yeah, anyway, so that was it for our little coin uh, experiment there. It didn't really go as well as I would have liked. It still says there's a sale up here, so let's see. I guess you can do it again. I'm not really sure. Um, so didn't get the Herschel that I really wanted. I'm not spending any more money on the game, at least not initially it's um for me i don't mind spending a hundred dollars on i mean i play this game a lot um but this is probably the last money i'm gonna spend on the game for uh the foreseeable future just because i don't like wasting the money on it um and that was not really what i was hoping for in the poll the only saving grace was i was able to get enough of those five star coins and i was lucky enough to pull another ascendable character so i could if i really wanted to um, push this uh, this Negan all the way up to make him um, the six star Negan but I'll probably work on that but I can also hold off on that and just see if I might get lucky and pick up another six star character from somewhere else I'm actually kind of interested with this uh, Katja here I might put her in as my leader with that weapon uh, human shield with four six star characters and just see if that makes my defense a little bit more formidable. Um, I've still seen some upper level people with Kat just she is so unbelievably weak for a character but I just may have the worst luck because when I attack uh, it seems like she blocks like everyone with that absolute defense weapon so it's an option it's something that I can try out. Now I did get all these Brady trainers. I don't waste the ascension points to go from three to four. I, I just don't see it really being that much of a value. So I am going to actually use these guys in order to train up my Yumiko. She is in a training grounds mission, but this is gonna give me 78,000 points for our level up tournament here. And I'm gonna go up to level uh, 20, what, am, what level am I, am I level one? 27. So yeah, let's see how this does, how much stuff I get. Yeah, I see a nice little boost, 53, 41, 45. Um, and she's still in the process of doing a mission right now. She's gonna gain another 15 to 20 levels by the time this is over. And that's gonna also help boost uh, my score on the level up. 
Um, my rewards right now, I'm pretty close to unlocking the next tier reward where I'm going to get two more of these epic gear tokens to do another couple of pulls, hopefully get some more Benedicts to load up to potentially ascend my fifth six star character. I'm going to be pretty excited when I actually get to that point. Um, next month though, I'm really going to go on like a kind of mini boycott on the game because there are times where I'll spend like five or six dollars on the game to buy a little coin pack for, you know, war and stuff like that. But next month I'm really going to go on a pay freeze. I'm not, I'm not doing anything um, regarding money because before, without even really thinking about it, I can spend, uh, you know, $100 or $200 on this game in the course of a month without thinking about it. So, uh, obviously tonight was an extreme example of that because I put up um, $100 just to buy those coins. But I really thought, uh, again, I'm not a big, you know, pro spender kind of person. That's why my rank isn't super high. You can kind of tell those the big spenders. Um, for me, my prestige rank literally today just went up to... Uh, rank 10 so I'm not a huge spender in this game um, there are people out there who are already ranked 12 those are the really big spenders but I just I, I thought it was worth the potential to get this Herschel on my team as a uh, just to round out my team so we're gonna do an ascension here at least I hope we're gonna do an ascension I'm gonna give up Abraham here now this is kind of uh, strange for me Abraham has been one of my go-to um, one of my go-to guys for my yellow team, even though he is really low as far as stars are concerned, as far as rarity. Um, ultra rare is not, you know, it's been kind of obsolete since uh, epics have been around. So it's um, it's gonna be interesting to let him go and I hope I get something cool, some five star character that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what I get. Let's just go ahead and do it. And we got another Sophia, it looks like. Oh, it wasn't Sophia. I thought it was Sophia. Carly. I'm not really sure who Carly is, though. I should have just clicked her. I don't know why I didn't do that. So let's take a look at Carly really quickly. Carly. Hello, Carly. Okay. Uh, all teammates get 45% defense against tough characters. Fully heal one teammate. All teammates get 45 I, I don't really like her. I don't think she's horrible, but I don't. I definitely don't think she's great. Um, but I have boosted my uh, yellow team kind of significantly here with the pickups today. I replaced my um, Abraham that I had, my four star, with a Carly, a Lester, and a Negan pretty much today. Um, I really think that I'm just going to stick with um, my regular Negan here because his taunt and everything, I, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade him. I'm not, I'm not sure. He's got a very large bonus to AP when attacking already, and he's already got bonus attack. So, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, well, anyway, um, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if you want, put it in the comment section below. Uh, I'm curious if you guys are pro-spending, against spending. Some people are really adamant against it. Uh, if you are, go ahead and tell me why. And if you are for spending, you know, same kind of thing. Give me your general feedback. Uh, I am very interested to see how other people think about this. For me, I will never really think twice about spending money on a game that I play as much as I play this game. I mean, I'm on this game all the time. So free-to-play games are, you know, they're awesome. I, I, I really like this game. But I don't think there's anything wrong with periodically spending some money on it. I definitely think there's a too far mark. So actually, I'm curious about that too. How much spending do you think is too much spending? And uh, go, ahead and that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.